Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Two weeks ago, I posted that Edge Copilot now lets you add screenshots in the site panel. And there we go. And there's the little screenshot button. And this is a very similar tool to what we get, um, the advanced screenshot utility that's now available in the desktop browser. Now, when I posted that video, which by the way, I'll leave a link to in the description, I did mention that this screenshot utility will also be rolling out to Copilot on the desktop for Windows 11 because uh, the Copilot uh, is also a web container and very similar and is also powered by Bing. Now, here we can see that the screenshot utility add a screenshot has now rolled out to the Copilot for Windows 11's desktop. Now, you may have seen this in your region, you may have not. It seems to be on a controlled rollout, but just letting you know the same functionality now is available so if you just want to screen grab a portion of your screen you just um, drag that um, utility across your screen and yeah we have a couple of options you can add a square circle arrow you can draw on it mosaic you can add text um, you can save obviously you can save this to your local drive and if you click on done it actually adds that image now um, to copilot and then obviously you can ask once that's uploaded, that may take a little bit of time. And then I'm just going to ask it what's in the image, just to demonstrate for the purpose of today's video. And this can take a good couple of seconds to respond. I'm testing this before I posted. It took about 30 seconds to respond. So hopefully this time it takes a bit quicker. But nonetheless, just letting you know now that that seems to be rolling out across the board. And it's also available as I posted a couple of days ago, that screenshot utility now is part and parcel of Copilot now across the board. And the desktop version now, Windows Copilot for the desktop has also now received it. And there we go. That's just telling me um, basically what's in the image. And you may find this handy. You may not. But um, if you are taking screenshots um, quite regularly and want to know a little bit more about screenshots, I think that this may be a nice move in the right direction. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.